Hey folks, Rob the Plumber. Here is my video on how to make a heat exchanger cheaply. It is a hybrid heat exchanger, meaning it is made out of plastic and copper. If you have not watched my first two videos, you must watch them first to really understand what's going on here. I am quickly going to go through the material list. Here I have two 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC tees. These are like three bucks each in the hardware store. Next, we have two bushings. These will go into the outer chamber to decide what size of a water line feeds each. These two fittings are called MJ couplings. They are two inch plastic by inch and a half copper. They will make the end of the outer chamber. Next, of, of course, we need the two inch pipe which will make the outer chamber. Uh, this is Schedule 40 PVC pipe found in every hardware store in America and Canada. You're really not going to believe how easy this is to assemble. First, take the 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC tees. These are the water lines that are going to feed in and out of the outer chamber. They need to be glued into the top of the T. Then you take the large piece of pipe that will be the length of your chamber. Now this is short so that it could fit on the camera. I prefer to make my heat exchangers as long as possible, depending on what they're used for. I also like to bank multiple exchangers. That's another video. You'll want to make sure that they're even as you can see, that is the outer chamber. Next, we need to put in these small pieces of pipe that will make up the end of the chamber. These small pieces of pipe are used to attach the MJ rubber to the inch and a half copper pipe. Now this is what the outer chamber should look like. Now normally I would prime and glue each joint, but I need these fittings in a later project. Now it's time to actually use the MJ couplings. Now the easiest way is to take the metal casing off of the outside to work with until you get the two chambers sealed apart from each other. If you plan on using potable drinkable water in this part of the exchanger you should order potable couplings. We will just put these two outer casings aside until we've got the heat exchanger assembled. Inside each of these mechanical couplings there is a little rubber stop that is made to stop the copper tubing from being able to go right through the coupling. This needs to be cut out. Uh, a simple little X-Acto knife does the job quite nicely. If you've properly removed the rubber stop you should be able to, with a little bit of force, slide the coupling up and down the copper pipe. Here I've cleaned up a piece of inch and a half type L copper. I've cut it so that it extends five inches on each side of the exchanger. I have been asked a lot of times, why do I not make heat exchangers out of pure plastic? Plastic is an insulator and it actually does not conduct very well, which means that the two liquids trying to exchange, exchange temperature can't. They're actually being insulated. 
from each other. Slide the MJ coupling on easily. You could even use a little bit of lubricant here if you're having a hard time sliding the MJ up the copper. There, it is popped on. Now, to put the other side on, all you need to do is have a little bit of opposing force. Grab onto the one that you've already put on and slide this one on with a little bit of force. And there you have it, a heat exchanger. All we need to do now is put the MJ clamps over top of the couplings. That was easy. Now you want the two opposing liquids flowing against each other. So the fluid flowing directly through will travel one way and the opposing liquid the opposite way through the outer chamber. Here I'll give you some shots from inside the copper tubing and inside the chamber, the outer chamber. I will get into more detail about the actual exchanger in the second part of this video. But here you can see that there is very little gap. Now if you were to use schedule 80, you would even reduce that gap giving you more draw out of that chamber. There are also ways to slow down the fluids going through each of the chambers. That will be in part two. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'm Rob the Plumber. Thanks for watching.